Oklahoma. Yes, I'm back in Oklahoma. I have good news and bad news. I have my Jeep back. I'm excited about having my Jeep back. Uh, this is really the first day that I am back in the driver's seat of my Jeep. So that's the good news. The bad news is my Walt Disney World vacation is over. Today I face the reality of work again. The reality of everyday life. And I don't know about you, but how come it seems like five days of work feels like two weeks dragging out? And six days at Disney feels like two nights. It just goes by way too fast. It's it's unbelievable how fast time goes when you're at Disney World. Had a really good trip though. Good flights. Good, great weather. I mean, it was supposed to be a lot of rain. Um, Jerry and I did not get rained on once. We got sprinkled on a little bit, but that was about it. Also, as far as fast passes last week, we really didn't need them just for like, um, Frozen, and of course the Pandora Flight of Avatar ride. But other than that, a lot of it was just walk-ons. I mean, our first night at Magic Kingdom, we rode every ride that we was wanting to ride. The uh, Halloween party was awesome. Um, with it being our first time, we really didn't know much about what to do. So basically, we didn't do any trick-or-treating. We just found a spot at the castle and we kind of camped out at the castle so that we could be sure to watch the parades and the fireworks and such. I don't even think we got to stay for the fireworks. We, by Friday night, we were kind of oh, worn out from all of the fun of the week. We did meet a lot of neat cast members, uh, a lot of Disney magic. I got a free dessert for our anniversary, then I got a free Dole Whip, and then our um, waiter at Liberty Tree Tavern, he gave us a free Liberty Tree, <laughs> then our waiter at Liberty Tree Tavern gave us a free mug for our anniversary. So there was a lot of little special occasions. I bought a lot of pins. I love pins. Um, I stood in line. It was late for my dinner reservation because I wanted the limited edition uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween pin. So I stood in line for that. I got that pin I was excited about. Oh, I got to meet some great uh, people that I was wanting to meet. I got to meet Jenna from Resort TV One and Rachel at Animal Kingdom one night. Rachel is Disney Princess Couture. And then on Mickey's Not So Scary Night, I ran into Prince Charming Dev, which was awesome to meet. He was dressed up in my favorite character, Sully, from Monsters, Inc. So that was really special. I was wanting a picture with Sully, but since I couldn't get one with the actual Sully, I got one with Prince Charming. hum about the uh, value resorts but I find it so immersive and I, I like the huge icons that are around us that it just keeps me in that Disney attitude and that Disney spirit of fun I really love the value resorts um, I just love that immersive experience and I don't know if I can ever get myself to switch over to the more luxury resorts because Value Resorts have everything I need. Bed, shower. Uh, we didn't spend a whole lot of time in the 
resort we would get up and go to the park early and around the heat of the day we'd go back to the uh, resort and take a nap do whatever get back up around four o'clock and go up back out to the parks and enjoy the rest of the evening the late nights so all in all it was a great trip and Right now, I'm just suffering from the Disney blues. It seems like the worst part of a Disney vacation is when it's over and you come home and it's back to bills, it's back to work, it's back to doing laundry, it's back to grocery shopping, and it's like, I want to go back to Disney. And I think there's such a thing as the Disney blues and, and if someone ever creates a rehab for after Disney vacation they would probably make a lot of money because it seems like you need rehabilitation to get back into the real world after a Disney trip and so back to reality I'm on my way to work I have some videos that I posted I posted one of the uh, people mover I really enjoyed that one we was able to get in the front cart and um, and so I have some great shots on the people mover. I just posted one last night late of a relaxing boat ride from the Magic Kingdom to the Wilderness Lodge. Uh, that was an awesome, peaceful video of riding the boat there and back to the kingdom. I was able to catch some footage of the monorail going over the water. It was just a beautiful day, really fun day. I'm glad we did that. We didn't need to go over there. We just wanted to get out on the water and see something a little different. And it was really awesome. So be sure to check out those videos on my uh, YouTube channel, Sooner Girl. Give them a like. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Click the bell. Do all those great things. And remember, you have this one life to live. So go out and capture your moment.